Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some pirate games for the Wii. Pirates Hunt for Blackbeard's Booty is a children's game. The whole game is actually just 5 minigames, designed so that kids can play it in multiplayer. In the rowing minigame, there are two teams. One player rows the boat, and the other one shoots, and if one doesn't have a teammate, or plays alone, like I did for this review, then the missing player or players will be bots. The sword fight minigame doesn't have any depth whatsoever, you just swing the Wiimote as shown on the screen. The squid ball minigame is a basic game of croquet. You get some sort of battle arena type of minigame. Here you have a little propeller with which you control the wind. And you use the wind to steal your pirate around. And you have to collect the box with your matching color from the map. Boxes with colors drop occasionally and you have to get your box. And the last one is a maze minigame, where you play in two teams. One round one team has the treasure and has to dig it before the other players club the treasure bearers. And the next round the roles are switched. By playing the games you get rewarded with new characters, new swords, new items in general and a new location. Overall, the game is dull and feels like a cash-in. I mean, come on, 5 minigames in a minigame collection? I know Java games with more variety. And you would expect that the controls are good since there are only 5 minigames, but no, the controls are mediocre too, just like the game in general. Zitmire's Pirates is a port of a remake. The original game was released in 1987. In 2004, a remake was made, and in 2010, that remake was ported on the Wii. This game actually. And the game is pretty amazing. It was the best pirate simulation game until Black Flag came out. You start the game by creating your character. Then you choose the era in which you want to be a pirate. And what is nice here is that the eras represent difficulties. It was easier or harder to be a pirate depending on the period. You choose the nation for which you want to do the undercover pirate work and then you start your pirate adventure. From here you are free to do what you want. You can talk to governors, romance with ladies in taverns, have epic sea battles and raid towns. There is no real story in the game, you create your own story. With this mechanics, you are free to sail wherever you want and do whatever you want within the game mechanics. You get some set objectives to make the game have a purpose, but you're not obliged to respect the objectives. You are free to do what you want. Also with the plunders you do on ships and towns, you get food and other valuables. You can sell this stuff for money, but you also have to be careful to keep enough food for your crew, as if you embark on a long journey, the food on the ship will deplete and you don't want your pirates to starve. There are also some occasional minigames like this in the game, which add a little variety, but unfortunately the controls feel unresponsive in this. Anyway, the minigames don't hinder the game to be great. And if you haven't played Zit Myers Pirates yet, you have to try it. It still remains as fun as ever. But I have to warn you that because it doesn't have a story, some of you might get bored by it. Having too much freedom without a purpose will get boring eventually. But even so, the game still remains excellent. And you get to play the game that was for many decades the best pirate game out there. Pirate Blast is a very basic on rails shooter. There are 8 levels in the game, which you can finish pretty quickly. There isn't much to say about the game, it's simple, it's fairly repetitive, but at least the controls are ok. It's what you would expect from a low budget on rails shooters on the Wii. It's not bad, but not amazing or memorable either. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. 
And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.